Hi, my name is Iona, and I have hair dye on my scalp, and I also have a switch buying problem. I mean, is it really a problem if you don't regret it? There are so many people up there who have upgraded from switch lights, who got OLEDs, who just want multiple switches so that they can have more Animal Crossing islands. We don't shame here. We don't shame, okay? The only thing we shame is Nintendo for not making that an option to begin with. For those who don't know, I know a little bit about having more than one Switch. So I decided today, as I've had quite a number of comments both on Twitch and on YouTube about how you go about owning two Switches. So let's go through it. It's actually easier than you think it is. And before we get into this, even if you have your games digitally, you don't need to buy them again, okay? I'm just getting that out there. You don't, you don't. You need one copy of the game, physical or digital. You're good. When you get a new console, it will ask you at the very beginning to sign into your Nintendo account. If your Nintendo account is already down as being on another Switch, you'll have two options. Option number one, you are gonna be upgrading to a new Switch and you don't plan on using your other Switch at all. I don't know exactly what this does. I don't know if it factory resets your other Switch, but I think it moves all of your save data over in one go and every single game you own. However, if you click the other option, which is to use both Switches, then you get a lot more control over what save data and what games you move over. This is what I did because I intended on having Animal Crossing Islands on both. And I have a lot of games on this that I don't really play. And I didn't want it moved over to this one and me have no storage space already. So if you haven't moved over any save data yet, you'll have a completely empty Switch with no games on it. If you have a physical copy of the game, all you need to do to get the game to show up on your Switch is put the cartridge in. If you have a digital copy of the game and you want to play it, don't buy it again. All you need to do is go to the eShop and re-download the game. It will, it will take a hot second for some of the games, unfortunately. Once you either have the game cartridge in or the game installed, then we can get to the save data. Now, if you want a completely new save, aka a new Animal Crossing Island, all you're going to want to do is to make sure that the cloud sync is turned off. To do this, you need to go to your settings, data management, and then click on the save data cloud option. Once that's open, click settings and you'll see an option that says automatically download save data. As you can see, this makes it so that if there's save data on another console that's more recent than the console you're on currently, it will automatically download it, which is something you definitely want turned off if you want two different saves on two different consoles. That way, it will never try and sync up with your other Switch and you can have two Animal Crossing Islands. If you plan on using both of your Switches all the time and want the save data on both, you can get them to sync up. You can do this by leaving the automatically download save data feature on. So you have this switch for travel and this switch for when you get home. You can have the same save data on both of them. And when you get home after playing this switch, it will auto sync to your home switch and you'll have the same save data going on both. Pretty cool. I haven't used that, but if you want it, it's pretty cool. Unfortunately, this method can only be done with games that have save data cloud save enabled. This isn't every single game on the Switch and many multiplayer games have this disabled to try and stop cheating. Here's how you can transfer all the save data from every game, regardless of whether it has cloud saves. It's super easy. You just need two working switches for this. All you do is go to the game and click plus, make sure the cloud backup is off for this and go to data management, transfer save data, and do the exact same thing on the other switch. Then on your new switch, you're gonna to wanna to click receive save data and on your old switch, you're gonna to wanna to click send save data. Select the game you wanna be transferred and boom, it is done. You can then carry on doing this for as many games you want the save data transferred to. It is worth noting that in this mode, as soon as you transfer the save data, it will be deleted off of the old switch. Just something to keep in mind in case you were trying to do two saves from the same point of a game. You can't do that, unfortunately. This is the way I do it for every single one of my games i much prefer that i have full control over which save data it comes over rather than doing everything at once and you can do this back and forth so if you like for example want to go on holiday and don't want to take your oled with you just in case you can transfer all your favorite games back to this one it will be deleted from the oled but then you can always transfer it back when you get back home obviously this method is not exclusive to two switches if for some reason you have even more going, you can do the exact same thing to transfer it across all three. One more thing to note about doing your Nintendo Switch this way 
is that with digital games, there is one slight drawback. As with a physical game, digital games are set up so you can only play it on one Switch at the same time. To make sure you're not playing it on your other Switch simultaneously, it has to connect to the internet and double check. This is probably the biggest drawback of owning two Switches and trying to simultaneously use them. What this means is if you want to play your Nintendo Switch somewhere where you don't have internet, you won't be able to play any of your digital games or you'll just have to hotspot your phone to your Switch momentarily. You can also boot up the game before you leave your house and then have your Switch in sleep mode, which means you don't have to reopen the software. That could be another way you get around it. But that's everything you need to know about owning multiple Switches. I hope this helped you out in some way, shape or form. And if you have any more questions, leave them in the comments down below. As always, Please follow if you enjoy all Nintendo content and I'll see you next time. Bye.